Hey, what's going on developers? Welcome back again after a long time. In this video, I'm going to show you that how we can create uh, DigitalOcean droplets. In DigitalOcean droplets, meaning it's a VPS server that we are going to create. And after creating, we are going to connect with our terminal that we can access the VPS, right? So before I start this, you can see there is one uh, Ubuntu test. I have already recorded this content one time, but again, I'm just recording uh, for the best output, right? So here you can see free trail active and you can see there is $200 free credits and you can also get this if you haven't created your digital ocean yet. Check the link in the description box below and you can create your account and you will get the $200 free credits for 60 days and you can create whatever service you want from digital ocean, right? And you can just practice. Uh, anyway, just I'm going to destroy this and I'm just uh, gonna create all the things from scratch. Mm, destroy this and Ubuntu test. I'm just putting here and destroy and destroy. And that is it. And there was a terminal opened and it's already paused. So I'm just closing it. And there is another thing that is our There's our VPS and risk access, so I'm just deleting it also. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to create. Okay, for that, we have to click on create and then just select the droplets. Okay, so, and it's so simple. Uh, we can just, uh, we have to just select the region. So I'm just selecting the closest location from me, Singapore. And then we have uh, options for selecting our image. So I'm just selecting Ubuntu. And the version will be 24.0.4 uh, LTS and as long as it's the latest and uh, a stable version of Ubuntu. And then the, the droplets type will be basic and it will be just CPU regular and just $12 per month for 2 GB memory, 1 CPU and, and 50 GB SSD disk, right? So that's it. And here you can see there is authentication method. And we can just authenticate our VPS in our terminal in two ways, basically. So there is SSH key and password. I'm going to show you the SSH key. Password is so easy. And SSH is recommended because it's uh, secure. You can see there is new SSH key option. Already I have three SSH key added, uh, but I'm just going to create a new SSH key, right? All right, so here you can see new SSH key. So we are going to create a new SSH key and then we are going to connect uh, here. Uh, I have already connected three, so there is just uh, showing the previous um, three. Uh, and for creating a new SSH key, we have to just go to a secret folder. So I am in uh, my desired location where I want to create. So you just go somewhere, the folder path where you usually don't go. So I'm just, the best use is .ssh key folder. It's secure. Uh, it's a hidden folder. So I'm just opening it with terminal. Perfect. And right now I have to just type here ssh and then hyphen key gen, right? And you will see here the path where it's gonna save. I'm just, um, just naming it VPS underscore access and pressing enter and the passphrase will be uh, empty and empty and that's it the file is created if i just go to the folder you can see there is vps underscore access and vps underscore access dot pub this is the pipe public and this is private now we have to just uh, copy the uh, public so here you can just copy the text here from here and you can just even open from the terminal by typing uh, the file name vps access dot pub and you can just open the um, notepad. Just copy from here and just go to the, your account creation process and just click on new SSH key and just paste here. So here you can see also, also we can just um, generate this SSH key by using putty. Already I have installed the putty uh, and putty gen, but we don't need to use it because we have already created this uh, fingerprint of the SSH key by using terminal, right? And we have created and pasted here the content and just name it um, VPS access, right? Perfect. And just add SSH key here and, and it's added, right? So I will just give the access VPS access here. 
and that's it and we can just change the host name here from ubuntu test that was the previous name just create the droplets and that is it now i will show you that how you can connect with the terminal definitely uh, definitely check out the description box below for the link that i have provided for get 200 dollar free credits and it's just preparing our server so it will just take one minute around uh okay just wait and it will just give the ip here you can see we can get the ip so we just click on copy here and we will just open our terminal and go to the file go to the folder in terminal where you have um, created the file for every time you log in and type here ssh space hyphen i for interactive and then we have to just type um, the file path so i'm in the root folder where i have to select the file then vps and underscore access uh, select the vps underscore access we will not gonna provide the dot public right so just the private file that we're gonna access so we will not just add the dot pub and then basically if you remember that there was two file vps underscore access and VPL, uh, vps underscore access dot pub so we will just have to select this file right not this and here we are just type here root and address the ip that we have copied and just click on enter and it will see that uh, it will say fingerprint yes or no yes definitely and just you can see we have inside our vps right so here you can see the memory usage and 47 gb storage there with the configuration that we have created our vps right so here you can see if i just clear the terminal and just click uh, and just type ls okay we have to go back and ls and you can see the file we can access through the terminal and if i just type here ls and you can see all the file that we can access if i type here a stop and you can see the server real time uh, task manager you can see uh, the vps cpu is using 0.7% uh, memory is using um, 182 MBs um, and you can see all the things that is showing and this is the way that you can create your uh, VPS by using a dissolution create droplets easy and connect your SSH key to access so that is it that is how you can create your uh, droplets and you can definitely check out the description box if you haven't created your account and get the $200 for 60 days and just subscribe the channel if you haven't and that is it i will meet you in the next video thanks for watching